What's good YouTube? It's the Demon of Spotty here and just want to do a quick one today because honestly there's just something I feel like needs to be said. Well, something I want to say because it honestly irritates me like all the shit that's been going on lately with people getting busted because of their old tweets and their old Twitter and shit. At this point in time, I gotta ask, if you're trying to be famous or if you are actually famous, why the fuck have you not gone and cleaned out your Twitter yet? Like, you know if you used to be problematic or say some stupid shit or just any sort of just shit that was non-PC and just be edgy for no fucking reason. Why have you not cleared out your fucking Twitter? Like, this shit with Doja Cat is sad because everybody was fucking rooting for her. Like, last week everybody was singing about being bitch, I'm a cow. Like, that's some shit we never... I shouldn't say that's some shit I never thought would happen, but that's not some shit I planned. Like, even I'm gonna admit, I thought the song was dumb, but it was funny and catchy shit. Even I couldn't hate on it. But just the fact that now, after her shit's blown up, everybody's running through her old Twitter, and she's got how many tweets saying, sorry, using that, the F word and everything. And it's like, I don't understand this. After the shit with James Gunn and, um... Who was the other guy? The dude from Rick and Morty, Dan Harmon. After their shit blew up and their old tweets came out, why the fuck has everybody else who's a celebrity not gone through their tweets or given their phone to somebody else and been like, go through this shit, delete anything I say that could have been problematic. Like, just delete all of it. Like, go back to the very fucking start of my Twitter and just fucking get rid of all of it. Like, if it's in there and it has a slur, problematic, or if it could just be mistranded, if it could just be mistranslated, or, you know what, not taken out of context, because as long as you have the context to put it, prove it, you should be fine. But, I say that, but then they almost fired that writer, they almost fired that writer for the New York Times last week, or a couple weeks ago, so, huh, whatever. But either way, at this point in time, why the fuck have you not cleared out your Twitter? Like, your Twitter, your Instagram, your Facebook, at this point in time... If you used to be edgy for laughs, why have you just not cleared out your shit? Like seriously, that is something you should have done how long ago? Now everyone's talking about canceling Doja Cat for her shit, and I'm like, that was that would be a really quick fucking 15 minutes of fame. Like I know they say fame is fleeting, but fuck. It it was like a week. Granted, I know she had other music before him, but I don't think anything she done had gone as big as bitch on my cow. So I just don't understand why the fuck you would not have deleted this shit yet. Like this is some shit that should have this should have been taken care of a long time ago. You know what? Just cause now I'm getting worried about my shit, I'm finna go clear out my fucking Twitter because the last damn thing I need is for some is for me to have any sort of clout in like two, three years off this shit. And somebody start dragging through my old tweets, bringing up shit just to roast my ass. So I'm going to go make sure that shit's gone and taken care of. In fact, I'm going to make sure I even do that before I put this fucking video up. So if you do go through my Twitter and find some shit, well, A, right now I ain't got no clout. B, it's going to be deleted by, before I even put this up. I should probably not say that because that's like a challenge to the fucking internet. Damn it, now I got to go through and clear out all my shit. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Well, I've never been that edgy anyway, but still. <laughs> At this point in time, I just think if you're famous or you're trying to be famous, that's something that should have been taken care of months ago. Like, why the fuck would you not have done that? Because Lord knows, unless you're unless you're a Paul brother, your last fucking name is Trump. Or, hmm. Now, those are pretty much the only two examples I can think of of people who can get away with constantly making shitty tweets. Because we know James Gunn and Dan Harmon do not fall in that category. So, well, we'll see if Doja Cat lasts through it, although we have to remember internet hatred is just as fleeting as internet fame. So she may be the hot thing to hate this week, but Lord knows it may only last until somebody forgets, until somebody else fucks up and forgets to delete their Twitter account, because it seems to be happening almost weekly now. So that's what I'll, that's all I have to say on this one, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Most likely. She'll just lay low for a couple of weeks and release a new song and everyone walk like they forget it. You know the other one I forgot? Damn it. R. Kelly. That's what I should have said. Unless your name is Kelly, 
Trump or Paul, then you're fucked. Yeah. I don't know why R. Kelly still gets passes. Or I could have said Chris Brown. He still gets passed all the damn time. Hmm. Or Charlamagne the God. He still has a job and everything. He's admitted to day rape. I've talked about it myself. Fuck. You know what, at this point in time, it's just beginning hard to be, remember all these people. Shit, so, yeah, she'll probably just do the same. Because, I'm not going to lie, I think canceling people for everything is stupid, if it's, especially if it's something they've done in the past, and they're trying to show that they're not like that anymore. But at the same point in time, people are running through old tweets just to try and find some shit to drag anybody down. So, at this point, you need to delete your shit. Go ahead and get rid of all your old Twitter, because Lord knows... They're fucking coming for you. So, <laughs> I'm actually going to go ahead and end it. So, end it there, y'all. So, all right. Thanks again for listening. And have a good one. Peace.